What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon guide video, how to use Duraludon. Um, before we jump into it, I just want to say thank you. Uh, at the time I'm recording it, it is 12.31 in the morning, Monday evening, and there is a very real chance, and this is a little bit ridiculous to say, but there's a very real chance that by the time this video goes live tomorrow morning, I might have passed 100,000 subscribers. And frankly, if it's not just then, then it will probably be soon. Um, it's it's uh, it's honestly unbelievable for me. Um, I'm gonna do a full like thank you for 100k video. Um, we will be doing Pokemon Academy because at this point it's it's inevitable almost. I mean, <laughs> fingers crossed, knock on wood. <laughs> um, you know, but it's I'm really overwhelmed and I'm just it's been such an incredible incredible positive experience for me to be a part of this with you all. So I, I just want to say thank you. Um, I'm gonna do like a full shout out to video as well. Um, in my thank you for 100k. I like I haven't planned any of this. I was at 78k, 77, 76k like three days ago. So I'm I'm wildly unprepared. Truth be told, for this. Hey, I'm here. Come back into focus. There we go. Um, I'm really unprepared, frankly. I I'm not ready to do Pokemon Academy as of today. Um, I'm working on getting it set up. Um. But yeah, it's just it's just been incredible, frankly, and I'm, I'm really grateful for it. So I do want, I just wanted to give a, a shout out to Alpharad because he really um, his you know his presence really has uh, accelerated my growth, and I'm, I'm really grateful for that. So also thank you to all you guys who come from Alpharad who gave me a shot. Um, I hope you were enjoying the content. Anyway, a minute and a half of your time just gone, gone forever. Wolfie Glick, worst Pokemon YouTuber, worst YouTuber ever, bad YouTuber, bad man, bad person. Um. Okay, anyway, let's talk about Duraludon. So, Duraludon's cool for a number of reasons. Number one, it's fake Dialga. Number two, it's Dialga with the fake thing. Number three, good shiny form, shiny Pokemon, hacks shiny new shiny Pokemon, Pokemon Sword and Shield. Anyway, Duraludon's really cool. It's got really cool typing. It looks like it should be base 10 speed, but it's actually a moderately okay speed stat. I know, it's crazy. Um, it has a hidden ability, which is available, called Stalwart, which is frankly really good. Alpharetta, if you're watching this, I should have told you about this. I don't know. Alpharad has been talking to me about how much he hates Trick Room, and I, like, forgot that this thing is the Trick Room Killer. This thing is the Trick Room Killer. Basically, Stalwart, um, ignores Follow Me, and it ignores Rage Powder, and it's it's overall a really cool ability, which makes Duraludon... Like, I think Duraludon would be okay if it had, like, Light Metal and Heavy Metal. Whatever. Like, not great, right? However, with Stalwart, it becomes... Things become more interesting, basically. So, um... The ability to ignore follow me is huge because especially this like this Pokemon is very very good against Trick Room. It also has a cool Galarian form. Uh, Galarian form. Wolf, why are you so stupid? That's Gigantamax form. Um, G Max Depletion. I don't know how much it reduces the PP. Um, of the last move used. We really on this channel we don't like running out of PP, so we try to avoid running out of PP on this channel. So um, that could be good potentially, but probably not. Here are its stats, and I, I heard that people couldn't see the speed stats, so, um, now you can see the speed stat. Base 85 speed, surprisingly fast, really low special defense, that's probably, that's the worst stat. Okay special attack, pretty good, uh, defense, and okay-ish HP. So, um, in terms of moves, its move pool is actually surprisingly limited, um, the good moves it gets are Flash Cannon, Metal Burst, which we'll talk about a bit more, uh, it gets the screens, you're not really want to, you don't really want to use screens on this thing, um, Snarl. Thunderbolt and Thunder, um, Dark, no. Dragon Pulse, Flash Cannon, and last but not least, that's it, Mirror Coat, Mirror Coat. Okay, so, let's recap what we've talked about so far. Dragonon has okay stats, pretty shallow move pool, good typing, and a really, really good ability for one niche thing. Um, so, how do we use it? That's probably what you're asking next. Wow, you guys are so smart. So here's the on. So there's a couple ways to do it. Uh, this set is offensive, so I just want to say that with Assault Vest, I was running Calcs, and you can also do something like this. You can honestly do something like this as well. Um, and you can change the speed stats if you want to use Duraludon on the Trick Room team. Duraludon is in a, cool, in a cool speed tier where it can be slightly faster, it can be much faster, up to 150 stat, or you can use it on a Trick Room team and just have it be really slow. Um, in terms of moves, so there's a couple things you can do. Um... Dragon Pulse is optional, as is Draco Meteor. I personally like Draco Meteor. You can run Snarl. Um, that's definitely an option. That's the that's probably the next move I would add. Well, the next offensive move I would add. Or something I actually really like is Metal Burst. So, to explain, just so that everyone's on the same page, um, Metal Burst is a move that takes the um, attack, the, how much damage you took from the last attack, and returns it to the user with 1.5 times the damage. It's a middle ground between counter and mirror coat where counter is two times and mirror coat is two times 
but counter is only for physical type damage, physical attacks that you've taken, and mirror code is only for special. So, um, if you want to run Metal Burst, I'd recommend a more bulky set so that you can take advantage of Duraliodon's natural bulk, um, which is cool. Otherwise, you can experiment with it with a, a modest set. Basically, Assault Vest makes Duraliodon able to take one, um, one attack, basically, from the special side. Um, its typing is weak to only ground and fighting. Uh, Dragon protects it from, fair, uh, from fire. Steel protects it from fairy. However, the special attack set, even with Assault Vest, is still pretty bad. So, frankly, depending on your team, I think you might actually want to invest more in the special defense stat. Um, I was running some calcs. I honestly am not familiar enough with the special attackers in the metagame. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I ran calcs. I was running calcs. I couldn't find anything that I really loved, so I just decided to stick in a special attack. Um... So, but there's other things you can do with it, like I said. So, you feel free to mess around with the moves on Assault Vest Rally on and the spread especially. I feel like that this is something with a lot of room for uh, improvement. Um, also, before I forget, if you're fighting against Duraliodon, because this is a Pokemon that I've been having trouble with on my teams, and the ways that you can take advantage of, of this thing's weaknesses are, it's really not good against Steel-type Pokemon, having almost no ways, having no super effective moves on the special side to hit it, um, to hit Steel-type Pokemon, and... Um, Having pretty much only resisted moves with Drake Dragon and, and Steel being both resisted and Thunderbolt not being especially strong or stab. So Steel type Pokemon are very good against Duraliodon. Um and any set that isn't assault vest is gonna take huge damage on the special side. So just to give you some an idea here, um Duraliodon from let's take a look at um Hatterini. For example, like Life Orb Moonblast from Hatterini. Uh, Oko's max HP Duraliodon. It's, this is with Life Orb, but like even without Life Orb, you have a chance to KO. So that's on a max HP no bulk. So that's just an idea of, of how strong, how how frail Duraliodon special defense is. So um, yeah. Next up, we have a Scarf set. So actually, with this amount of EVs, you can outspeed um, you can outspeed Gyarados and a uh, Gyarados after a Dragon Dance or a Bounce, and you can outspeed. Dragapult. So you outspeed an Oko Dragapult into Gyarados. Let's just confirm this. So Thunderbolt will do... I don't think it's an Oko. Ah, it's an Oko. Sorry. It's it's a clean Oko. Even with bulk, um, Thunderbolt does a ton of damage. So even if they're like pretty bulky for a Gyarados, you can still outspeed and Thunderbolt, um, which is good. You also resist both water and flying and grass, which Gyarados are running. So Duraliodon's a really good answer to Gyarados. If you're having trouble with opposing Gyarados, which are good... Um, you can run a Scarf Duraliodon. Honestly, I don't think you need to be Scarf for Gyarados, but it, it is it has enough speed that I think you could realistically be Scarf um, and not be too crazy. You actually, sorry, you should actually go one point faster because I believe max speed Arcanine hits 147. Yeah, so max speed Arcanine is 147, so go one point faster. You're probably not running into that many Scarf Arcanine, but other mons are base 95. The next set I want to talk about is one that I think is really funny. Um, This thing... <laughs> this thing is good against uh, Pokemon that traditionally have a good matchup against Duraliodon, especially Excadrill. So the idea here is you can take any one hit and, and pretty much Oko in return with Metal Burst. So you actually um, even take Duraliodon takes even Excadrill with a Life Orb with Shukaberry. Um, sorry, I can zoom in a little bit. I know you guys have trouble seeing. You can actually even take Ma Max. This is Max Life Orb Earthquake, and you survive. Um, even with Adamant Life Orb. So you can survive and then Oko back. And obviously without the Life Orb, because a lot of sets don't run that, um, you take even less damage. So even a Tyranitar Rock Slide won't knock you out from there. You could even invest. I had put fully in special defense to try and survive as many attacks as I could. But if you really wanted to, you could put it in defense as well, or you could put some special attack. Um, yeah. Metal Burst is cool because it works on both the physical and special side. It's a move that for a while I thought had a, or I've always thought has a ton of potential, but it hasn't had a good distribution, frankly. Um, so, I think that with, um, with, with Duraliodon getting it, it's finally a Pokemon that I feel like can actually make use of it. Because, like, Sableye got it, but Sableye doesn't have the bulk. Duraliodon has not amazing bulk, but good typing that it doesn't have, like, a ton. It only has two weaknesses, um, both of which are good types and probably going to be pretty prominent in the metagame. But you can run Resist Barrier, as shown here. So, Metal Burst is something that I think that if you want to innovate with Duraliodon, I think you should be looking into this. Because, although its base HP isn't high, I want, like... A 1.5 times multiplier, especially on a Pokemon like Duraliodon who can't always do damage quickly, I think could be good. Um, the other thing I want to talk about is if you max Duraliodon, you can use uh, max Flash Cannon to raise your defense, right? Am I crazy? Yeah, max Flash Cannon raises defense. So 
that's something that could be cool, especially if you like have one of these sets and you want to take. If you know that you're going to eventually going to have to take hits from like Excadrill and you want to max raise your defense when Excadrill is not in the field and then use Max Dragon to lower their attack. Not the best strategy I've ever come up with, but it is an option. Last but not least, we have Specs. Um, so Max Speed Duraludon actually outspeeds Arcanine. That's not Jolly, like J Adamant Arcanine, and then you can do stuff like Draco Meteor. Um, so Max Special Attack Draco Meteor against. against like i don't know like like 164 like not this so this is like if arcanine has a little bit of chip on it it has it has a chance to oko even if like a pretty good chance to oko arcanine even if um even if they are max hp and no bulk which is where i'm currently running something like this Let's see four. um that's not a terrible those aren't terrible odds to ko and um with specs you also get to do more damage to like the fish for example thunderbolt with specs is a two at ko which isn't something you're gonna get otherwise um Flash Cannon is pretty good. It doesn't... I don't think it KOs Hatterene. Actually, no. I'm sure it doesn't KO Hatterene, unfortunately. But, um... Um, I'm by... Sorry. Uh, I, I, sorry, I think OBS just glitched there. There was, like, a really weird, like, um, thing on the screen. I said, as I was saying, um, it, it Queen Oko's Hatterene, which is a big thing. Um, this is a big thing because it, it ignores, um... It ignores Follow Me. And you can actually even do it with Life Orb. So, if you didn't want to run Dragon Pulse... Or if you and again, guys, these moves are flexible. If you want to run Snarl, not probably not in a spec set, but um, on Assault Vest, I think you have room for Snarl if you want to drop one of these moves. Um, or for Mirror Coat, Mirror Coat's probably good in like a bulky Assault Vest set like this. Sorry, I know I'm jumping all over the place, but it wouldn't be a wolf video if I didn't. I really hate using plus special defense on Duraludon because it's so inefficient. But you, like it, I don't know, it might be worth it. Anyway, like you can do something like this. Use Draco Meteor. People think you're not a threat, and then you have Mirror Coat or Metal Burst. All totally viable options. But yeah, you can mess around with Life Orb here. Um, I like Thunderbolt, but I'm not sure how essential it is. Like, you could do, like, Protect, Dragon Pulse, um, Flash Cannon. Does it get sub? It does. So you can do something like this if you wanted. There's a lot of options with Duraludon. Uh, I, I would actually... I'm not going to say there's a lot of options with Duraludon, but for a Pokemon with such a limited move pool, um, there's more, more ways to run this thing than you'd expect. And I'm sure there's more as well that I haven't looked into yet. So... Yeah, I think that's pretty much all I want to say. In conclusion, Duraludon's a Pokemon that has a lot of different ways it can be run. It can be offensive, it can be fast, it can be slow, it can be bulky. Um, despite a shallow move pool, its amazing ability and good typing make it overall pretty viable, I think, in the metagame, and I, I expect to see a good bit of usage out of it. Um, and yeah, I think I think it's a Pokemon that you can't underestimate. Its main weaknesses are the fact that it has really bad type coverage, so steel types are good against it. Steel tips are very good against it, um, and it has terrible special defense, so any set other than the Assault Vest set will be struggling significantly to uh, take special hits off. But in a metagame that seems to be more physical than special, um, and the fact that you can cover for all of those weaknesses, like extra drill, you can run Shuka Berry, not the best thing. Um, special attackers, you can run Assault Vest, pretty good. Um, yeah, I think I think that it has a lot of usage. It also has, re the typing is really nice for walling Pokemon like Gyarados and Rotund Wash. Um, yeah. Yeah. And it's a special attacker, which seems to be kind of, not like rare, rare in the metagame, but it's not as common as you'd expect. Anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you for everything. I'm, I'm really feeling very lucky right now. Um, and yeah, I'll see you later for the next video. Peace.